Hello, in this video we will talk about Oracle certification program categories. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So first I will talk about the three levels of certification namely Oracle Certified Associate, Oracle Certified Professional and Oracle Certified Master and then I'll talk about the remaining two specialist and expert. Talk about Oracle Certified Associate Certification. This is an entry level certification that is a first step towards becoming a certified professional. So in your certification path if you have an associate certification available then you must take this before you can take professional certification. Oracle Certified Associate Certification is also called OCA sometimes so this certification will certify one to possess fundamental skills in that area. So this is an entry level certification. It doesn't require you to have a certain number of experience in your job role or working with that product. Keep in mind that Oracle Certified Associate program is geared towards job roles, not towards specific products but yes in that job role if you're using the product then you'll be tested in that product as well but related to the duties that you're doing under that job role just to give you an example Oracle database is a product and Oracle database administrator is a job role a programmer or developer is another job role so there won't be an OCA certification for Oracle database as such but there will be an OCA certification for Oracle database administrator and for Oracle database developer okay so these certifications are geared towards job roles all three OCA, OCP and OCM so OCA program may require you to take one or more courses directly from Oracle University they may be an instructor-led courses or you may have an option to take online courses it all depends on what kind of OCA program you are targeting okay so keep that in mind and courses could be priced at four five thousand dollars for a five-day course and also keep in mind that you may have to write more than one exam so in order to achieve a certification you may have to take not necessarily but you may have to take one or more courses directly from Oracle or you may have to write one or more exam at least one exam it all depends on the OCA program and obviously the description will tell you all the required components that you have to complete keep in mind that these certification programs OCA OCP and OCM are targeted towards a job role so if your job role is database administrator and your product of interest is let's say Oracle database then this is one of the certification options that you will see Oracle database 11G administrator certified associate and if your job role is let's say application developer and your product of interest is let's say Oracle database because you could be an application developer in with Oracle database or with some other product so if you are interested in application developer certifications related to Oracle database then you will see this option among others that are available for certifications Oracle PLSQL developer certified associate so level after that is Oracle certified professional and this is a benchmark of professional and technical skills and I this certification assumes that you have worked with the product in a specific job role for a certain number of years also known as OCP it covers areas like databases, applications, middleware and it's targeted for job roles as already discussed earlier so if you're applying for a senior position then OCP is what you want to do and if you're applying for a junior or, or entry level position then OCA will do the job keep in mind that if OCA is available in that certification path then you have to take OCA first and then you take additional exams and then you automatically get OCP so you can't just come to OCP directly you have to go through OCA first and then achieve OCP same rules will apply 
for OCP as well, what we've seen in OCA, you may be required to take one or more courses from Oracle Corporation directly, depending on the restriction for that OCP program related to your job role and the product. And you may have to write one or more exams. I'll take the same job roles to provide examples for OCP certifications. Let's say if I'm a database administrator and my product is Oracle, then this is one of the options that I will see Oracle Database 11G Administrator Certified Professional. And if I'm an application developer and in the area of Oracle product, I'm going to see this option, Oracle Advanced PLSQL Developer Certified Professional. Then we have Oracle Certified Master. This certification recognizes ultimate advanced level. This is not required as such when you're applying for a job, even for a senior level jobs, but if you want to prove yourself as a person who can solve complex issues, then this is the way to go. So this certification verifies the ability to solve complex problems. Again, like OCA and OCP, OCM is available for job roles as already discussed. In order to achieve OCM, you have to achieve OCP first, and in order to achieve OCP, you have to achieve OCA first. Again, the same thing applies. You may have to take one or more courses from Oracle Corporation directly, and you may have to write more than one exam. One exam you have to write anyways for all the certifications, but some certification may require you to write more than one exams. Here I'm going to continue with the same job roles, Oracle Database Administrator and Application Developer with the product Oracle Database. So if I'm in Oracle Administration area, Database Administration area, I'm going to see this master certification as the option, Oracle Database 11G Administrator Certified Master. And there is no master certification available in Application Developer path for the product Oracle Database. So point is that master certification may not be available for all the job roles.